Welcome back to Escape Room Coding, where we simplify Python with fun mini projects. In today's video, we are going to build something useful, our daily expense tracker using file handling in Python. By the end of this video, we will learn how to write user data to a file, how to read from the file, and calculate total expenses from the file. So, let's begin. Before we start coding, what is file handling? In simple word, file handling is how your Python program can read from or write to a file on a computer. Think of it like your notebook, where you write your expenses to the file, right? You can read your past expenses from the file. Let's see this in action by creating an expense tracker. This mini project will do three things. Number one, it will let you add new expenses with description, amount, and date. It will allow you to save them to a file called expenses.txt or you can name your file anything you like. So in this program, we will name our you know, file where we save our data. We will name that file called expenses.txt. And thirdly, it will allow you to view all your expenses and you know total amount spent on different purchases so let's jump into the code let me import daytime module there is another way to import daytime module and that is daytime When you import a module in this way, to call a function, you have to use the module name, class name, and the function you want to use. For example, if we want the current date, we'll have to write something like this. Let's say we have a variable called now. Daytime dot daytime dot now so this is how we'll have to write to get the current date all right so here date time is the module and this date time is the class instead of doing this we will simply say now we can get the current date like this right which is much cleaner and shorter right we will need this function in later part of the upper board so for now i'll just remove it from here now let's write our expenses to a file to achieve this functionality i'm going to create a function dgf expenses that's it inside this function i'll accept a user's input so let's ask user for what they spent on i'll just create a variable description so this variable will hold the description of the purchase the user might have made and how much they spent now let's get today's date in year month and day format um, to do that we'll have to call the now function which we have seen just a minute ago so wait equals to but i want the date format to be something like 25, 04, 02, something like this. Uh, to, so to format the date, we'll have to use one more function, str f time. So we'll have, we'll just pass on the format here.
all right we have all the data from user now let's write this data into the file to do this i will open a file in append mode so that all content are not deleted and create a temporary reference variable which will refer to that file we opened so let's open our file with open and name our file as expenses.txt and i want to open the file in append mode we'll create a variable file now this file variable is referring to the file we have opened here so now i can use the file variable to write our data into the file here with is called the context manager it will create a file open that file and it will let you work with it and close the file for you when you are done okay now let's give a confirmation message to the user saying expenses added successfully okay so we have created a function add expenses this function will help us to accept users input and we will write those input in a file the file name is expenses.txt and that's it now let's create a function to view all the expenses here i'll use try and accept block to handle error which are also called exception so let's do that Here I am using try and accept block to handle errors which are also called exceptions. So our program does not crash unexpectedly. We need try accept block because sometimes errors happen while you know uh, your program runs. So the errors could be you are trying to open a file that does not exist and you are trying to divide a number by zero or converting a word to a number. So if we don't handle these errors our program will crash for example if i run the program for the first time and i want to view the expenses but there is no file created yet right because we have not added any expenses so in that case an exception called file not found error will be thrown since we are handling it here our program will not crash and user will be able to see you know, no ex no expenses recorded yet message inside try block let's build a logic to read a file and display the content of the file so with open we'll have to open the same file in read mode and assigning a variable to that file now i'm going to read all the lines from the file Let's store all the line in a list. Expenses equal to file and then this. Check if expenses is empty. No expenses found. And I will return from the if function. If expenses is not empty, right? Then we have to print all the expenses. So let's do that. I will just create a line multiplied by 40. So I'm printing your expenses and a line below the uh, statement. Since we have all the you know expenses uh, stored in the expenses list, now let's loop to the list. So for line in expenses. I'll just print line dot right, just to remove you know uh, leading spaces or empty spaces now I want to extract the amount from that line so that I can display a total amount spent to the user right 
So let's do that. Amount equal to what I'll do is I'll just remove some leading spaces. Right. After removing the leading spaces, I will just split the entire line based on wherever there is a you know pipe symbol. Now let's get the last value and I want to replace dollar symbol with space. That's it. And again I will remove some empty spaces if there are any. Now this should give me the last value, but the last value is in is a string value, right? I want that value in number format. I'll just convert the value to floating number, floating value, that's it. Let's add amount to total. Okay, so I'm getting an error here which says undefined name total. So let's declare a variable here. Initially, it will be zero. Now that seems okay. Now let's print the total value to the user. So, before I do that, let me print one more line here. Here I'm just rounding the total value to two decimal places. Okay, now we are just left with menu function. What I mean is, I want to display a menu of options like add expenses, view expenses or exit. And I want to keep showing these menus unless user chose exit options. So to do that, let me create a main function. Print a statement which says daily expense tracker. That's it. Let's create an infinite while loop. So that it keeps running until user chooses to exit from the program. Right? Now here are the options. Okay, so we have our while loop. We have our options created. Now let's accept user's input. Now let's write a logic to call the correct function based on user's input. So I'll say if choice equals to equals to one. If user chose one, I'll call add expenses, right? I'll say choice equals to if user chose option two, let's call view expenses. If user chose option 3, which is exit, I'll just print goodbye and I'll break from the loop. If user chose an invalid value, so we are showing them 1 to add expenses, 2 to view expenses, and 3 to exit. If the user chose 5 or 6, then we will say. Valid choice. Okay, so we are done with the main function. Now I want to execute the main function only when this program is directly executed. And it should not run if it is imported into some other program. So to achieve this functionality, I just have to check if equals to name is a variable in python which exists in all the python program or script and its and its default value is main let's say you want to use the add expenses function in some other program and you imported this file in such scenarios the value of underscore underscore name variable will be the name of the imported file okay so let's run the program now here is the output. Let's add a couple of expenses. Okay. 
3.50 I'll add one more expenses let's say I bought a laptop of maybe $500 okay expenses added successfully now I want to view my expenses here are my expenses and my total you will also see the file that is expenses.txt file get created in your project folder so if you see in my project folder i have this expenses.txt file created so this file is automatically created by the python that's it our daily expense tracker is ready and we can use it to track our daily expenses try this project and let me know in the comment in this project we have learned how to read and write to a file in python how to split string to extract useful data and keeping things simple and useful i hope you have understood the program and logic behind it if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comment i will make sure to reply also if you have any cool mini project ideas or suggestions to help me improve my skills i would love to hear from you let's grow together if you like this project smash that like button and subscribe for more beginner friendly python project thank you for watching keep coding see you in the next fun mini project